Hello out there in YouTube land. It's so nasty outside. I'm not doing a whole lot of nonsense outside. Can't sell any logs right now because it's just too nasty. So I thought I'd do a a quick, <laughs> if they're quick, movie on the nastiest log I ever had on the mill. This log was one of the oldest trees in Mount Airy, and the guy that had me saw it is a woodworker and he wanted to save this tree in this guy's front yard that was his best buddy and it had been hit by lightning and started to die and stuff like that and um, the first thing I had to do was saw sections off you can see see here um, different sections this is all sawed by chainsaw all sawed by chainsaw to get it down to what it fit on here's the head block you can't you can't really see the head blocks. This one here is a chunk out for some reason, just the way it grew. And here's a little head block right at the top. That's how big this thing was and heavy. It's maple. So this was without a doubt the nastiest gnarly log I've ever sawed. But you know, guy's got a, a log that's been in his yard forever, and he wanted it sawed. And yeah, yard trees always have metal. I hit some metal, but it was nothing that hurt anything. So there's three or four pictures I got of this, or ten pictures, I don't know what I got. Here it is after I, I got it down. You can see, let's see, where's my pencil? That it's it's beyond the head blocks, but I already already sawed it down. As I recall, I had to salt it in half long ways to get it on, and this is the half of it on the mill, and the first cut with the heads out took like six inches off of it um, gnarly old tree this must be I think my neighbor took these pictures because um, there's my hand again this thing is not this is not focusing up too well there it goes maybe I have to lean a little more forward anyhow that was uh, you can see I'm just about at the top of the thing, it's got it dug in. I guess you get to see all the pictures because that's how many there are. That's that's a tree there sticking out. Uh, yeah, that's 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 my neighbor over there. I'll have to tell him he's in a movie. I don't know exactly where I was in the sawing of this one, but that's that's a big chunk of wood there now I'm down to where I'm getting a little bit of uh, dog room you know so I'm down below the rack so it's it's getting better it's still a nasty gnarly just a just a gnarly piece of wood then I realized I couldn't turn it anyway so I was, I was trying to get it so it would turn down you see my railroad jack here I'm trying to push it just off the front and get it back down on the bed. The thing was so heavy, the two of us couldn't even shake it. No idea what that thing weighed. I'm still up here. Oh, you can't. I gotta go up a little bit. I'm still up at the top of the uh, uh, racks there, so it's a pretty good sized chunk of wood. Here's what it looked like. You can see it's starting to get in an angle. You can just barely see the jack handle getting it to come down on that to get it to roll over to cut another face off of it. And this is just a another one. Light seems to be affecting me different this time than last time. You can see the railroad jack in there pushing it out. Um, it's still, still pretty tall. I, I don't think I'd taken another slice since the first one. I guess at this point it looks like I had to have it turned over that's aiming in the other direction from the saws down at this end down here and um, I don't know whether that's a saw cut or whether that's a chainsaw cut I think this is a chainsaw cut now I'll show you some of the wood that uh, came off of that thing if you uh, I guess I was just starting to just starting to get into this a 
Yeah, here's here's a good one of the. I, I hope this shows the the ornateness of that wood. It just had all sorts of twirls, twists. I mean, it was when, once you started getting into the wood, it was probably the nastiest log. Well, it is the nastiest log I ever cut, but it was also probably the top ones in the wood that was coming out. Look at the wood on this. This was uh, like having two angles hit it hit the same time. You can see this goes, or maybe it's a board on top of there. I'm not quite sure what it is to be honest. Almost looks like there's a board across there, but I don't know why there would be. I don't know, but see all the squirrels. And those all different colors, all different colors. These, this must have been, might have been nail damage to put the gray runs in it, but it's gray, blue, red, just unbelievably pretty. <clears throat> Here's uh, another one of just showing how pretty this wood was. I was supposed to get a table made out of it, but I never did. This has been so many years ago. I, I can't even remember how many years ago it was. If I let that go, it seems to be a little bit too shiny. If I come down that way, it's reflecting off the light for some reason. Maybe something got moved. Anyhow, that's that's the nastiest log I ever showed. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw in the most overworked Jeep I ever had. It has three logs in there, and that thing's loaded. Anyhow, have to get some Frick stuff in there and have to get some Jeep stuff in there. So that's it. I'm going to post these for tonight just so you get a movie. See you later. Bye.